Um, but look, I can talk about one aspect, what happened? Because um, it is interesting, you know, there was a run on the bank, and I use that phraseology, but it was one that many people hadn't thought about uh, across investment banks. And that is, in the span of two days, money market funds that were b holders of short-term funding for Bear Stearns, notably through repurchase agreements, most of which was backed by assets, uh, many times collateralized by federal agencies, decided because of the fears, the rumors, the what was going on in the market, and they were scared. And as a money market fund, a number of big ones decided, I don't want to hold this name anymore, the Bear Stearns name. I just don't want to hold it. And we've never seen, none of us in our careers, I can assure you, have ever seen anything like this, where money market funds decided, I don't want to fund this name. I just don't want to hold the name in my money market anymore. Even if it is collateralized by federal agencies, I just don't want to own it. Somebody else can buy it. And it, as you've seen in the disclosures, Bear Stearns went from having 17 billion of excess cash to basically near zero on Friday night. And by Monday, it was going negative. And that was primarily, um, there were some other things, prime brokerage accounts being removed and such, but the primary thing was basically as simple as the equivalent of a run on the bank. Somebody who's providing funding, think of it as a CD, like a CD, the equivalent of bank CD, saying, I want my money back because I'm not going to fund you tomorrow, let somebody else do it. And that happened in the span of 48 hours. Never have any of us seen anything like that, um, ever. And indeed, every Wall Street firm funded that way. There are massive amounts of repurchase agreements out by all Wall Street firms. It's, a, it's you know, common funding ever since, ever since. I don't know, I can't tell you how long, many decades. That's been a funny mechanism. So that's in the, and if you really cut through it, the what happened in the span of two days that was quite extraordinary and for all kinds of reasons, unanticipated, because none no one's ever seen it like that before.